Metastock 14 has incorporated several key enhancements into the Power Console that can help you streamline your workflow. In this four-part training series, I'm going to show you how to take advantage of those features. With that being said, let's go into Metastock. In this training, we're going to review the added functionality in Metastock's Power Console's Forecaster tab. We've added tree control functionality, which will increase the user's flexibility when working in the forecaster. So let's select instruments up at the top. And using the arrow keys, I can expand the list of instruments showing in this window. The right arrow key will expand the list of instruments. Left arrow key will retract it. And this functionality is true throughout all of the list of instruments. Makes usability much easier. In addition, the wizard has been replaced with a screen that includes all of the options, makes it, making it easier to get to everything that you need. So we'll click on the Options button which opens up the Options tab of the Forecaster. And in addition, we have a summary window. So let's select an instrument. And we're going to change our range to load maximum records. And we're going to click on the summary. Our summary gives us a breakdown of all of the options we've selected, the load records, the interval, and the instrument. And again, you can select enter on your keyboard to begin a forecast of an instrument. And let's do that now. And that concludes our training on today's added functionality of Metastock's Power Console's Forecaster tab. Thank you for joining me.